Hello, my name is Luis Torres. I'm a targeted individual and I've been a targeted individual for about five years. Um, today, I wanted to talk about stage three, you know, the um, the battle or, you know, the fight. Uh, stage three is actually the most intense. This is actually where they raise the bar as far as your targeting and you'll either hear as far as V2K, you'll hear... It'll sound like the same phrases over and over and you'll get upset. You'll curse them out. You'll let them know how much of a piece of shit they are. You'll let them know how much scum they are. You know, um, you're in total denial of anything that they try to tell you. You know, you you try not to listen to them. You ignore them. Um, when you elevate to stage three, this is where your life becomes, you know, in danger. This is where you become stressed out. This is the part where, you know, all hell breaks loose and your world starts coming to an end. Um, in a fight stage is where you either end up in jail for confronting people. As far as gang stalking, you know, you'll become suicidal with the V2K or with these voices or voice of God technology or whatever it may be. You become suicidal because it's 24-7. You can't sleep. You can't really do anything. You know, you're totally paralyzed, you know. And uh, no matter where you go, as far as gang stalking, they're there. You know, there, it seems like everybody's in on it. it. seems like they're controlling the world. It seems like everybody's against you. And you become stressed out. When you become stressed out, your brain can't take it no more and you eventually will either try to commit suicide or you'll hurt somebody severely uh, stage three is not a joke stage three the fight stage is where you know you want to lash out at everybody because you want to stop and you don't want to be a part of the program no more you don't want to deal with it you want your privacy you want your life back, you know, you just have no understanding of what's going on or how you could stop it. Most people tend to want to stop this right away um, and want their life back. But what I want you to know is it's hard to get your life back because this is not going to stop. Um, these people, they're well prepared. These entities are well prepared to be in your life 24-7 and they have no problem in doing so at stage three is where you know they'll tell you we control a lot of the people they'll let you know this whether it's through their mouth whether it's through the mouth of somebody else they will let you know that we control the world and this is how things are going to be so you either evolve to the vibration that you need to be at or to the place, you know, to the intellectual standing that you need to be at and rise above all of the madness or you're going to let the madness consume you and become insane. Um, You'll go to the mental hospital. They have no problem with you going to the mental hospital because once you're in the mental hospital, that's part of your record and your life record for the rest of your life. So that's just one tactic that they use. You know, they'll they'll threaten you. They'll break into your house. And it's the fight stage. Well, you know, you're not going to come into my house. I'm going to go get a gun. Or I'm going to sleep with my knife. You know, I'm not going to let nobody push me around. I'm not going to let anybody, you know, try to sabotage what I got. This is why they this is why they isolate you because they know this is exactly what stage three is all about. And they try to maneuver you to be isolated so that way they can talk to you without anybody being without any casualties. But we're hard headed, you know, targeted individuals are hard headed because we're so used to living a regular life that we don't know how to live life with. Without its normality, you know, we tend to, well, I'm going to do whatever it is that I, listen, I, with this gang stalking stuff, 
I ended up stabbing my brother four times and went to jail for it and eventually got out and I apologized to him about it and he understood, but he had no idea what was going on. And I'm talking from experience. So believe me, communicate with these beings before you end up where you don't want to be. You're either going to be in jail, dead, or in an insane asylum, mental hospital. Um, get to know your creator because your creator will raise your vibration. You're already a target. You're already a chosen person. You're, you're part of the chosen people in this program. So they choose people that seem weak but are a lot stronger than they are. But we tend to think stupid like and we end up either hurting ourselves in this process or we end up hurting somebody else and it becomes something very, very dire. It's a dire situation. So keep my best advice from my experience. Keep your cool. You know, they're going to try to push you to the edge. They're going to try to see how far they can push the envelope. You know, there's it's no sweat off their back. You kill somebody, they're not they're not going to jail, you're going to jail. You die, they're not dying, you're dying. So you have to be able to keep a level of ignorance to the things that's going on around you. Like if you don't see it, you got to be able to play death like you don't hear it. But that's just my advice for the people that are in total denial that they have ever done anything wrong to anybody. But trust me, you're either going to come around to the way that I think and how these people can affect your life or you're going to be part of the targeted targeting system for a really long time and uh, they don't mind doing this at all. I can't get no rest. They do dream manipulation. Um, nightmares. You can feel it. They've put me in a simulated ver uh, a simulation of hell and I felt the fire in my dreams. They manipulate my dreams and they know how to make you feel whatever I, de I dealt with it. So um, learn to elevate yourself. You want to become better you know, you want to become stronger, then you got to raise your awareness, your spiritual awareness to the things that's going on around you in order for you to get an, an understanding of the situation, because there is no such thing as a dead end. Everything has a way out. Um, get to know your creator, whoever he may be, whoever she may be, and break down and be sincere. And these gang stalkers and these operators and these do weapon operators, they can understand that because, like I said, you're connected to them. They're connected to you. They can tell when you're being sincere. So you have to be sincere in order to um, gain some kind of respect or trust from these operators or these people or entities or whatever they may be um you have to be sincere they have to sit there and say well he's worth a shot you know that's what they told me i was worth a shot and look at the things that i'm doing now i'm trying to help out targeted individuals all over to have a better understanding of what's going on and where you don't have to chase after gang stalkers because they don't know no better they're innocent they don't know no better um let me know when you see a check or a pay stub or where uh, government actually hands over money to these people. There's there's no payment to this. They're, they, they're totally unaware. Um, every time when I was going through gang stalking and I confronted every single individual, you know, they said, well, you're fucking going crazy. And I doubt that my entire family would be a part of this because now that they turned down the gang stalking, it's like everything is back to normal. Now that I gained part of my life back through these steps that I'm feeding you, I've managed to get most of my life back. I can do whatever it is that I want, but you can't fight. Um, Jesus said, um, 
if you get struck in the face, turn the other cheek and get struck in the other face. You know, because you don't want to hurt somebody. You don't know if you're hurting an innocent person. Um, you don't want to hurt yourself um, because it that's painful for the creator, you know, and for your family. You don't want to do that. You don't want to put your... I've actually had a friend when I first started communicating with the targeted community and he ended up dying and I played a huge part of that because I didn't help him out the way I should have because I was so ignorant to the fact that, you know, who is this community? So use the community to the best of your advantage and try to defuse stage three because stage three becomes a very difficult stage. You know, um, you'll either hear these voices 24 seven at a constant rate where there is no pause in their sentences, where there is no stopping them talking, where they're constantly manipulating you. They can um, move your body, force talk. You can you can force talk, force walk, force think. You're you're no longer you have you no longer have access to your body the way that you once thought. So the only way to have access to your body is to break down and submit to the fact that you might have done something wrong, and the only way that you could fix it is by trying to fix it. You know, um, I know most people are very prideful, and they're like, "Well, fuck you." You know, you didn't, you don't know anything about me. You don't know this. You don't know that. You know, how do you know that I even did this? These people know. So if they say you did something, it's because you did it. And they're trying to let you know that you did it. And they're trying to let you know that they didn't like it. So you either man up and accept the consequences, whatever they may be. Which for me was gang stalking V2K and do weapons. I've dealt with my consequences and now they lessened up. So now I can live my life like a normal human being. And I'm trying to feed this information to you guys. So that way this might help you out. This might save your life. These videos that I make might save your life because I've been dealing with this for five years and it was intense. And I managed to make it better through finding my creator, understanding, mainly understanding. Because I needed to understand my creator and what he was doing before I could sit there and understand what these voices were doing. I had to ask permission for my creator to grant me the knowledge to be able to, you know, defend myself from these voices. And he granted me that. So um, get to know who your creator is. Become one with the with the universe. You have to elevate yourself. You want to be you want to stand out or you want to be under the radar then the only way to do that is by listening and talking and not talking too much or listening too much you know don't use your hands don't use a gun don't use a knife don't use your feet don't use a car to crash into somebody or anything like that because it's just gonna you're gonna make the situation worse for yourself and while you're in jail you're gonna be gang stalked you're gonna be talked to with these voices you know, so it's never ending. So don't make your situation worse than what it is. If you want to fight these people, the best way to fight these people is with your mind. If they're showing you negative images, well, think of a positive image and counter that. But make it a story so they can understand because that's what they like. They like to be able, they're very articulated people where they can understand exactly what you're saying, even though you're not saying it with words. You know, let them know how special you are. Let them know how important you are. That's how you fight this. You don't fight this by going to the government, shooting it up. You don't fight this by killing somebody or the people who's following you. They ain't touch you. They ain't kill you. They ain't harm you in any way. They can harm the things around you, but they ain't harm you. So you can't make no, you know, you can't try to harm these people because they could be innocent. They could be mind manipulated. You never know. And when they snap out of it, and when you snap out of it, you just might have hurt somebody. So take the time out to get to know yourself and get to know your limits because they're going to try to push your limits to the maximum. They're going to try to drive you crazy because if you're in total denial of the, pro of the program and the process, and because if you follow the process, if you follow the program, there's an end to it. But if you don't follow the process and you don't follow the program, and by that, I mean redemption. If you don't redeem yourself, 
then you're going to go insane and you're going to end up hurting somebody. Stage three is one of the worst. So be very, very, very careful as to what you do because it's detrimental to your life. Don't become isolated for the rest of your life. Find a way to fight back, but with your mind, not with your body. All right, this is uh, stage three, Luis Torres, targeted individuals um, community. I look forward to talking to you some more to let you know a little bit more. And uh, I hope that you can subscribe to hear more. All right, bye.